What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. It is Tuesday, February 13th, and we have six games to talk about. If you like the content, please like the channel and subscribe. Um, try to grow this channel one day at a time, and you guys are the biggest help in doing that. Uh, we are coming off of two in one day in the NBA yesterday. Uh, we didn't get our Dallas uh, minus 12 and a half pick. It was a lot of points, uh, but it was against the Wizards, and they should have, could have, and were very capable of uh, covering that number at any time they wanted, and they proved that in the fourth quarter when they were down 10, eight minutes to go. Um, check back with three minutes to go, they're up by three. Uh, they finished the game up by eight, and with any energy in third quarter, second quarter, or first quarter, they could have been covering that number easily by the end of the game. Uh, we did have Golden State to win against Utah. That was a good call. Um, and we had the over in the Chicago uh, Atlanta game, which also got to 252, 62, 262. Um, so, Great day uh, on to today. Um, six game card. Uh, talk a little bit about each, not that every game, but um, you know how we do. Uh, Celtics and Nets. Uh, Nets are eight and a half point underdogs against the Celtics at home. Uh, we bet the Celtics the other day to uh, cover this same number against the Heat. And they actually, no, it was six. It was six, not even half, but seven. Uh, cover a big number against the Heat. Uh, they ended up winning by four. And um, this is a scenario where I think the same thing could happen. They should win this game um, by a good amount. But the Celtics just care about winning games. They're 41 and 12 this season. They're 24, 27, and 2 against the spread. So, covering spreads is really not their thing. Uh, but many games is 8 and 2 in the last 10, 3 and 7 against the spread in the last 10. So, um, if anything, I guess I would try to be on the next, but I'm not going to bet this game. Uh, Thunder and Magic. Uh, Magic, 2.5 point home underdogs. Uh, this is actually the Magic's first televised game in quite some time. Uh, they're never, never on TV, and this could be TNT chasing the thunder and not, you know, looking magic, but they happen to be on TNT tonight. And I think that's uh, a little extra motivation for them. Uh, they are the uh, better team against the spread in the last 10 games, 73 versus the thunder at four and six. And they, they have the better record at home uh, there's uh, 17 to 7 at home versus uh, Oklahoma City 15 to 11 on the road, 14 to 12 spread. So uh, we're going to roll with the Magic uh, plus the two and a half at home. Uh, also, everybody's on the Thunder, uh, probably because they're a bounce back win the other night. 65% uh, of that's on the Thunder. So uh, let's be on the other side of this. Uh, Heat Bucks. Uh, Bucks are eight and a half point favorites. Uh, my favorite bet in this one is the under. Uh, the Bucks are playing at a slower pace, uh, better defense with Doc Rivers, um, and the Heat are playing much better defense uh, also. Uh, in the last five games, their uh, points allowed is down from 110 overall to 102. So definitely hold the teams down a little bit um, I like the under in this game not sure who's going to win the Heat are still a scrappy team without Butler and tonight there's no Butler there's no Rozier uh, Duncan Robinson's questionable so still a scrappy team but stay away from the spread at the end. Kings and Suns I like the Suns at home Minus the four and a half. Uh, both these teams are coming off a loss, I believe. Um, Sacramento 
uh, just lost to the Thunder and Phoenix just lost that uh, one point um, game to Golden State, the Curry buzzer beater. So both these teams motivated to get a win. Suns at home. Um, I'll bet them to cover five. Not my favorite bet of the night, but um, still kind of like it. Uh, Timberwolves and Blazers. Uh, Timberwolves on the back to back, coming off a very good win against the Clippers last night. 20 point win. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Blazers are missing uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Um, I'm going to stay away from this game. Uh, Timberwolves should win. Uh, will they win by nine? I'm not sure. Um, low total, 213. Uh, I guess I might lean over, uh, but of course, stay away from this one. And last game is the Pistons and the Lakers. I really want to bet the Pistons. Uh, Lakers have been up and down, um, winning games, winning games you don't expect, uh, losing games they should win. LeBron and AD are always on the injury report. Um, and we got a 10 and a half point spread with the Pistons who are eight and two against the spread in their last 10 games. Um, only eight and 44 in the season. So of course they don't win games, but these last 10 have been covered a lot of spread. So that's the side I want to be on. I missed the 12 and a half. This number's down from 12 and a half to 10 and a half now. So might stay off of it or include it in any parlay. So uh, that's going to be bad. <clears throat> um, three picks I'm going to roll with are the uh, Magic plus the two and a half against the Thunder, uh, the Under 223 in the Heat in the Bucks game, and the Suns to cover the five against the Kings at home. So those are going to be three. Lock those in. Let's get this money. And we'll see you back tomorrow for some more NBA talk. Fuck you then.